tail of the tape between Janar Hernandez and Floyd Mayweather. An 11 year difference in age, a three and a half inch height difference in Hernandez's favor. And that's part of what George was referring to when he says that he needs to keep his jab out there and try to keep young Floyd on the end of that jab. They both weighed in at the limit of 139. Surprisingly, they both measure out at 72 inches of reach, although it doesn't look that way. When they get in the ring, you'll see Hernandez appears to have the advantage there. Punch that numbers, Larry. A profile of how active these fighters are against a better class of fighter. Hernandez is more act active, not quite as accurate as Mayweather, who throws the heavier punches. The difference can be discerned in the jab department, where Hernandez uses it both as an offensive weapon and as defensive armor. Rules of the bout with our unofficial ringside scorer, Harold Letterman. The Gennaro Hernandez Floyd Mayweather fight is scheduled for 12 rounds using the standardized rules of boxing for all world championship fights. There is no standing aid count, no three knockdown rule. Only the referee can stop the fight, and you cannot be saved by the bell in any round, including the 12th and final round. Jim. All right, Harold, and as we've mentioned, Floyd Mayweather Jr., or Little Floyd, as they call him in the family, has heard the talk talked by the people surrounding him, the people who early on in the promotion for this bout made disparaging comments about the champion, Gennaro Hernandez. Now, Floyd Mayweather gets ready to try to walk the walk. Jim, many years ago, I saw a sensational Philadelphia fighter named Len Matthews, roughly the same age, a little better record, put in with Carlos Ortiz, who turned out to be one of the great lightweight champions. Ortiz dismantled him, ruined his career. And the record for Floyd Mayweather Jr., 17 wins, no losses, no draws, 13 knockouts, as we told you at the very beginning of the telecast. He was a bronze medalist at the Olympics. American coaches disputed the one-point decision that relegated Floyd to the bronze medal bout instead of allowing him into the gold medal final. You see a young man very comfortable in these surroundings. A lot of friends in the arena tonight. Floyd originally from Grand Rapids, Michigan, now lives here in Las Vegas, along with his other family members. Here's a look at the fighting Mayweather's total record. As you can see, they all had winning records. Roger was the champion. Floyd Jr., the only one left still fighting and undefeated. Overall record for the family, a winning percentage of about 80%. Junior said he was surprised he wasn't favored in this fight. Early on, he wasn't, but the odds have now become 8-5 to five in his favor. Meaning in the last 24 hours, most of the money that was bet was bet on young Floyd. Correct. I was also told in international betting, in Europe, for example, that Hernandez is the favorite. And Gennaro begins to make his way into the ring. Gennaro Chicanito Hernandez. We mentioned once again, the only loss in his career came when he moved up to 135 pounds to fight against De La Hoya and had his nose shattered by a De La Hoya left hook, although he says it had been previously broken in training by Sugar Shane Mosley, the 135-pound world champion with whom he often spars. I ran into Hernandez in the lobby today, and he said a peculiar thing to me. He said, I have to be lucky to win, and I asked him what it meant, and the sum of it was that he feels that he's in the challenger's hometown, that Mayweather lives here, that he's the fair-haired boy, and that everybody is familiar with his name through his uncles and his father, and he feels he really has to win decisively to get the decision. He may be right. And the record for Gennaro Hernandez, 38 wins, one loss, one draw. The draw was a technical draw in a bout that ended after a mutual headbutt in the first round. Only 17 KOs. Hernandez is much more a boxer than a puncher. And now let's go to Michael Buffer for the official introductions. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Las Vegas Hilton here in Las Vegas, Nevada, where tonight Bob Arum's top rank incorporated along with your undisputed, undefeated king of beers, Budweiser.
This buds for you present 12 rounds of boxing for the WBC Super Featherweight Championship of the World. Sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission, Chairman Dr. Elias Ghanem, Commissioners Glenn Carano, Lorenzo Fertitta, Dr. Luther Mack, and Dr. James Nave, Executive Director Mark Ratner. Timekeepers at the bell and counting for the knockdown seconds will be Jane Broadfoot and James Cavan. Your lead physician at ringside is Dr. Flip Homansky. Attending physicians, Dr. James Wishgame, Dr. Al Capana, and Dr. Margaret Goodman. This bout is also sanctioned by the World Boxing Council, President Jose Suleiman, Supervisor at ringside for the WBC, Frank Quill. The three judges assigned, scoring this bout on a 10-point must system will be Chuck Jampa from Nevada, Bob Logist from Belgium, and Terry Smith from California. And when the bell rings, your referee in charge of the action from Nevada, Jay Nady. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from the Las Vegas Hilton here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing red, trimmed with white, weighing 130 pounds. He captured a bronze medal in 1996 Olympics, and now he has a professional record, a perfect 17 consecutive victories without a loss, 13 of those by knockout. He's a native of Grand Rapids, Michigan, but now living and fighting out of right here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the challenger, the undefeated pretty boy, Floyd May. And his opponent, across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing white, trimmed with blue, and also weighing in at 130 pounds. He comes to the ring with an outstanding credential. His 40-bound professional record stands at 30 victories, including 17 knockouts, only one loss and one draw, and two world titles. From South Central LA, presenting the two-time world champion, and reigning WBC Super Featherweight Champion of the World, Genaro Chicanito fighter, Floyd Mayweather Jr.'s head is uncluttered by doubt. It is Chicanito's job to instill doubt as fast as he can. Ring the bell. So unencumbered by doubt is young Mayweather that just like the champion, he wears into the ring on his trunks a WBC World Champion patch. As if to say, you can have that patch for now, old man, but I've got mine already on my trunks for when the bout is concluded. <laughs> that's, that's arrogance for you, the arrogance of youth. Well, sometimes, if you're not sure of yourself, even when you're young, <laughs> it's not going to get there later on. It could also be a useful piece of politics if the bout goes to the judges' Stop. scorecards at the end. Stop. Doesn't hurt. Don't grab his Hernandez head. Hernandez got to be careful Box. not to be too careful. He started off real aggressive. That's a good sign. And the young man should make sure that he takes advantage of this is his moment. You may never have another. So you can't hold back, but yet you got to be mindful of 12 rounds. Young Mayweather's better power punch may be his left hook. You see Hernandez holding the right glove up near the right side of his face for the most part. Gennaro is a pretty effective defensive fighter anyway. Yesterday, in our meetings with them, Larry Merchant suggested to the two fighters that they're both counterpunchers, and Mayweather took exception. He said, I don't think we're counterpunchers. He's a boxer. I'm a boxer puncher. 
Mayweather will try to wait when Ananda stop moving around and make him watch him with his eyes. Then he'll jump in shots. Jay Nady calling it a slip, not a knockdown. But it was a slip. But he's he better be careful. He may be slipping like that all night. Yeah, but the slip happened because his tendency is when his opponent punches is to move back just like you saw. So he put himself off balance to be knocked down by a soft punch like that. He's got reflexes. His re reflexes are good. Why not use them? You want to use your reflexes because some guys don't have them. And rest assured, we'll look at the slip again between rounds. Hard right hand to the body by Gennaro Hernandez. Mayweather gets in a one and a two, a left and a right to the body before Hernandez finishes the exchange. Now you see Mayweather position his left foot on the outside of Hernandez. Then he slips back over. And Another slip. And he says this is a slip also. So both fighters have been down in the first round, but neither gets credit for a knockdown. One good slip deserves another. I see blood already in Hernandez's mouth. Unless he has on a red mouth guard. You may be right. Which some fighters have been known to use. Mayweather's real clever. He sets his foot, left foot on the outside, then he moves it to the middle when he gets ready to shoot. shoot. Little left hooks from Hernandez inside, and round one, a tactical set to come to a close. All right, don't open up yourself when you're going to throw punches. You need to. Don't go for the head. Throw, throw the punches to the body. We got to throw to the body. Oh, everything to the bottom. Underneath. The jab. It's got to go to his, his hand. Both fighters' slips showing here in the first round. There you can see Mayweather putting himself off balance and going down as Hernandez charged him. I, I think that could be called a knockdown. I'm sorry. <laughs> Even though it wasn't a hard punch, both of them might have been called knockdowns. Pretty close calls both ways, although when, when Mayweather went down, you could see Hernandez's lead foot, his left foot on top of Hernandez's foot. Yeah, and that... Well, that's experience, George. He's back and you put a one foot on another foot and someone falls. As again, Mayweather, he uses the front end of his left foot and really twists it, left and right. And first on the outside, then back to the inside. Saw how Harold Letterman scored the uh, first round. I think Mayweather may be one of the best natural fighters around. Natural because he does it just like he's walking down the street. There's no strain. Generally, it takes years to get a fighter to do the things that he's doing. So you he does he's them relaxed, naturally. He's relaxed in the ring. For yeah, it's just like a walk down the street. But it's hard to train natural guys like that. Don't know what to tell them. Now the fighter was busy in the first round, and Hernandez threw only 27 punches, and now they both go to the canvas. Second time to the canvas for each, and still no knockdowns in the bout. We can't do that anymore. I know this, Roger, it's part of the game. Box, go wrestle. Mayweather's real smart, drops his hand, but as he gets close, he picks him up just a little bit. So the, uh, the farther away from you, you see something to hit at, but as you get close, it, it disappears. Mayweather, the aggressor, landing from outside with his jab. He got in a right cross across the top. But Hernandez don't want to do is sit there and wait. Jab to the left, to the body, a left jab. Mayweather's going up and down. Interesting that we've seen Hernandez going forward on so many occasions, bull rushing forward as he did there. Hernandez insisted to us yesterday this guy is a counterpuncher, and I'm going to make him lead. I am going to go backward, stay back. I don't care how dull it is. He's going to have to come to me. Gennaro's crossed himself up in the first two rounds. Yeah, well, you see, Hernandez is very frustrated. He's the one leaping and jumping in. And these little quick fighters will make you do that. And 
Nady warning Mayweather that he'll deduct a point the next time he thinks Floyd is holding Gennaro behind the head. Now, hard right hand by Floyd. It's because Hernandez is sitting there waiting for something to happen. With this kind of fighter, if you're not doing anything, keep your left jab moving. Make him stop and think. Yeah, Floyd Mayweather's having a rousing second round as he takes advantage of Gennaro Hernandez's inactivity to land when he wants to land and then go away. Now Hernandez is starting to step back a little bit. Well, when you step back, you got to do something. Nice round. Okay. Mm -hmm. How you doing? Now. All you got to do is pump that jab a little bit, baby. It's going to be good. Hit Jim. Hit Jim. Pull the cap, please. I want you using that jab, though, baby, right? Okay? You just tell you working every time you're getting off. Now, you just do that pull count at one time. You, you, you nail it real good. He hurt. When he smiled, he hurt, okay? okay. See, you make him forget about your right hand if you pop in the jab. You pop in. Right, even, right. even just a... Then you still with the right hand, okay? You're looking good, baby. Okay. You you will, we will win this round, no question about it. Yeah, no question about it. Now, I told you before, you know, in the first, after the first and second round, okay. he starts slowing down. This is the football season. Once again, they're getting tangled up in each other. A little foul play by Hernandez with the elbow a little bit. Every trick. Every yeah. trick. And in these fights, it makes a difference. Sandy Sadlin, Willie Pep. Good left hook to the body for Gennaro Hernandez to begin the third round. In the second round, Hernandez was outclassed. Mayweather landing 24 of 40 punches by CompuBox numbers. Hernandez only 7 of 33. Mayweather landed 10 of 15 jabs by CompuBox numbers in the second round. So far, young Mayweather is simply beating Hernandez to the punch. And he, he allows Mayweather to get on his feet. He's flat-footed here. Well, you don't want a fast fighter to do that. The speed plus being flat-footed, they can hurt you. You want to keep him on his toes so that he's guessing about if and then he's going to land a shot. That's what you do. Make him move. Our Spanish interpreter, Ray Torres, and you'll see him on camera later tonight, told us that between rounds, Gennaro Hernandez's corner told the fighter, you've lost both of the first two rounds. Yeah. Left hook upstairs by Gennaro Hernandez. And that's the kind of fight he's got to fight I now. I agree. He just can't sit back stop, and wait stop, for this stop, kid stop. to uh, Good job, guys. open up. Stay on him. Keep some shots going at all times. You don't often get an honest count from your own corner, but in this case, it is. Mayweather's left foot on the outside, switches it to the left side again. And a good left hook. Gennaro Hernandez has been trained throughout his career by his brother Rudy. And the two of them make no secret of the fact that they often disagree. And Mayweather's corner told him to keep that left hand out there. They even allowed Diaz to speak a little bit in the corner. Then he won't see the right hand. Keep that left jab going. Well, Miguel Diaz functioning as a cut man tonight for the Mayweathers is one of the rising training talents in the sport. There's a big one, too, by Floyd, who landed a left hook and a right cross. And now this guy's really fighting with his eyes, Mayweather. Keeps his left foot on the outside when he's not busy, so does this guy throw a left hook? He just steps a little bit to, the, to his right. Hard right, right hand to the body by Gennaro. Mayweather's no longer backing up at all. He's the aggressor. One big difference in the bout so far, Floyd has been able to land combinations. When Hernandez lands, it's one punch at a time. Floyd is so natural. Sometimes the worst thing a natural fighter can have is a trainer. <laughs> Just kind of let him go, even in the corner. Don't tell them too much. There goes the left hook to the body by Floyd. Well, and of course, the whole thing of being trained by your father, which is the case for Floyd now, we've seen it so often down through the history of the sport. Two-edged sword. Unique communication between the fighter and the trainer, that's good. But extra pressure for the fighter to please his key family member, his father, that can be bad. <laughs> well said. 
Coming December 8, HBO Sports presents the next edition of Sports of the 20th Century, Sugar Ray Robinson, The Bright Lights and Dark Shadows of a Champion, a documentary which traces the triumphs and tragedies of the boxer most experts called the greatest pound-for-pound -pound of all time. Outside the ring, Robinson was a fearless and flashy showman, but his final days were marked by sickness and poverty. Sugar Ray Robinson, The Bright Lights and Dark Shadows of a Champion, coming December 8, only on HBO. How well did you know Ray Robinson, George? You know, well, nice friend. He, he right. started to be in the latter part of his career. We would meet up, kiss, and exchange baby kisses. I had some babies that he liked. He was always giving me good advice. He said, plan your work, work your plan. Generous man, Ray Robinson. Hernandez said before the fight, as we reported, that he was concerned about whether he would get the close rounds fighting in Mayweather's hometown. So far, the rounds have not been close. Mayweather is winning them all in the view of most of us. One-sidedly, too. Punched at numbers coming into the bout indicated that Gennaro Hernandez had thrown and landed his jab more frequently in previous bouts than had Floyd Mayweather. So what happens tonight? Hernandez has landed four of 26 jabs through three rounds. Mayweather, 33 of 58. It's a wipeout. Mayweather's doing a fine job, but trying to seek a knockout so early may not be a good idea. Doing a lot of fainting, making the other guy flinch, and then he gives him something afterwards. Go grab his head. Nothing low. Nothing low. Hernandez kind of picking and scratching here and trying to find some kind of attack that will bother young Mayweather. Now Hernandez begins to land combinations by throwing punches from odd or more awkward angles. But Mayweather comes right up the middle with an assault. Mayweather is getting bolder. He probably doesn't feel that Hernandez can hurt him. He's willing to do more exchanging and stay closer to him. Yeah, he's working that pocket now. Whenever there's a miss, Mayweather seems to get a little closer. Well, and Floyd told us yesterday that at some point, Gennaro would widen his hands looking to connect, and he'd have an opportunity right up the middle. He saw it perfectly, didn't he, and he's doing a lot of it with his hands, and he's doing it with his eyes, watching everything he's doing. Hernandez has a habit as the rounds go by of eventually backing up and putting his back against the ropes. Floyd Mayweather is hoping he'll do that because he believes he can get to Gennaro's body when Gennaro squares up off the ropes. Now, knowing that uh, Mayweather is a good boxer, you don't want to throw away everything. Fights are won sometime in the eighth, ninth round. So you, you throw it all in the first two, four, five or six rounds, you won't have anything left. What Hernandez is hoping for now is to catch the younger fighter leaning in. Have him chase him, lean in, and hope he can land something that changes the complexion of the fight. Because he has failed as yet to instill any doubt As the left jab. Way 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 way. Yeah, not just any left jab. I mean, that left jab is backing Gennaro up a step when Floyd lands it. He's so natural, he's able to stop, start all over. That's a hard task in boxing. You see a shot, change your mind, and get away. That's why I say he's the best natural fighter around, because he... Another good combination for Floyd Mayweather ends round four. And Gennaro Hernandez is having trouble finding a clue in there against the ultra-talented young challenger. It's nothing. It's, it's a small cut. It's not too much. You, you move it too much to the right. You need to move to the left a little bit. When he when he comes at you, stick your hand out. You better stick that jab. And you, your punches got to be strong. You got to go throw out there with feeling. Hit him in the... Push him one Some back. There we go. Push him one back. Yeah, don't worry. Oh, here. Yeah. A lot here. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay.
top five begins. Harold Letterman, how'd you score the first four? Jim, I got a 20 to nothing, 20 to 36, 20 aggressive Floyd Mayweather. Jim, I gotta tell you one quick story. Jose Solomon, a WBC president, likes all his officials to wear that patch. Uh, I mean, all his fighters, whether he's a challenger or a champion. Remember, Julio Cesar Chavez, uh, Junior Jones, Zelko Maver Maverick, all wore the WBC patch. The only one that doesn't wear it is Oscar De La Hoya because he, he sold his abdomen. Uh, the advertisers on his trunks. In any case, so far, Floyd Mayweather is certainly the aggressor, winning the first four rounds easily on clean punching and aggressiveness. Now, Hernandez moves to the left side of uh, Floyd Mayweather, and nothing happens. That's what you want to do. Make him exercise that side of his body that he doesn't train. And that left side sometimes can be a weak side because you don't train in the gym to throw punches from that angle. It'll burn you out. Now he decided to stop. Oh, what a vicious uppercut by Floyd Mayweather. And Hernandez has backed up against the ropes just as Floyd told us he would. And Floyd going to work. Hernandez better get his back off the ropes in a hurry. Well, he's trying to say, does this guy inexperienced? I'm going to let him throw a lot of shots, and I'm going to get him. Well, nothing else has worked so far, George. So this may be an act of desperation. But now Mayweather should step around the side. Well, don't just stand in front of him. Do the same thing, but from the side. Make him turn and face you from either the left side or the right side. But if you stand in front of him, you can only throw so many shots, and you got to take a breather. Did Floyd square his shoulders up with Gennaro's? No, he should step around the side. This guy's waiting on him to do something to tire out. Make sure he can't see you after you finish hitting him. Hernandez brings himself off the ropes with a one-two combination against Floyd. And Mayweather goes back to work in the middle of the ring with a straight right-hand lead. He's shown a lot of wrinkles in there. Boxing from angles. Working behind the jab effectively. Occasionally using the right-hand lead. Unveiled an uppercut. In that combination that backed Hernandez into the ropes. Terrific show of boxing skills through four and a half rounds so far by young Floyd Mayweather. Well, the thing about... Mayweather, you are the challenger, so when a guy gets into the rope, you got to do something. This is your chance. You can't allow him to just lay on the rope and not do anything. But he's, he's not leaving himself open in that posture, which is the most impressive thing, because that's what Hernandez is looking for. Hernandez manages to land a right hand over the top. Floyd Mayweather comes back with another thunderous uppercut. Quickly, October 24, Boxing After Dark returns. David Reed hoping to get one step closer to his own title shot against James Cowboy Coker. Gabriel Ellis and Jesse James Leha on the undercard. Excellent show, October 24, Boxing After Dark. That's the late show here on HBO. Flying over here and digging through the kitchen. Uh -huh. Get that shot, get him on both sides, man. Get him on both sides. Okay. Well, you, you try to hit the head. I keep telling you, go downstairs. We, may I say something, Floyd? We practice that all in the gym. Okay, listen. Don't be fooled when he goes to the road. Don't just go freeloaded. Okay? Okay. Because he's, 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 that's what he's looking for, the motherfucker. He 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 just, you, just, you just measure with a jab. You just measure him with a jab, okay? All right, gentlemen. Okay, baby. Okay. Here's the first uppercut that Mayweather threw right through the guard of Hernandez, who is trying to lay a trap for him on the ropes. And as you heard in his corner, he was warned about that by Miguel Diaz. Now, Hernandez is starting to go to the body with his left jab. And that can be a big payoff if the fight goes beyond 10 rounds. Jab the, the, the opponent to the body, too, the challenger. Well, his corner told him to step around and hit him in the body when he gets him on the rope. Let's see if he follows that advice. Mayweather. The hardest thing in the world is to make a young fighter step around. Don't stand in front of your guy once you get in the ropes. Interpreter Ray Torres tells us between rounds, Gennaro Hernandez's brother Rudy told him you've lost all five rounds, and Gennaro agreed. Yes, I have. 
So they're on the same page. Indeed, CompuBox punch stat numbers are an increasingly accepted measure of accomplishment in the sport. And if you look back over Hernandez's long career and all the bouts that have been measured by those kinds of numbers, nobody, nobody's ever done to Gennaro what Floyd has done to him numerically in the first five rounds, and that includes Oscar De La Hoya. The Hernandez's may have a future as judges. The question right now is whether they have a future as champion and trainer of a champion. You know, I like the idea that the Mayweather family allows Miguel Diaz to have some input in the corner. That's a sign of not only a father being a good trainer and manager, but almost he's on the tiptoe of being a great one. Great advice. Low ego enough to allow yeah. Miguel to have a proper say. Yeah. Smart move. If you got Miguel Diaz working in your corner, don't shut him up. As I said, he's one of the rising training talents of the sport. Think about Miguel Diaz, he's always at some fight somewhere. So everything he's saying is pretty knowledgeable. Like Angelo Dundee. He'd be in one fight making 100000 the next fight making $100. Well, I mean, Diaz has world champion Eric Morales on his training roster, and here he is working as a cut man. You see, they love the sport. Now Mayweather's starting to connect upstairs with combinations. That right hand by Diaz kind of shook Mayweather a little by bit. By Hernandez, you mean? By Hernandez. Yeah, Gennaro Hernandez. That was uh, one of the most effective punches for May I mean, for Hernandez in a long time in this bout. Looping overhand right. Now Floyd being a little cautious as Gennaro goes back to the ropes again. Oh, he's like a cat. He sees an opening, think you're not, I'm far away from you, then he takes advantage of it. The one thing he hasn't done yet is to focus on Hernandez's ribcage when he goes to the ropes the way he told us he would. Maybe that's still yet to come. You're looking good, but here's what I want you to do. He ain't got no more fight in him, man. He only, he's just trying to survive. He's trying to survive now. That's what I need you to do, man. When you get in that corner, look for something back. But when you're up in that corner, let your hands go. And dig them shots to the body and head, okay? Yeah. All right, then. Be smart. Here's a look at the top 130 pounders, junior lightweights in the world. Hernandez right there, who is in the process of being replaced by Floyd Mayweather Jr. as a new force. Roberto Garcia holds one of the belts. And Angel Manfredi. My favorite. Angel of Manfredi might find himself in a ring with Floyd Mayweather Jr. The way this fight is going. Roberto Garcia from Oxnard, California. Same hometown which has produced Fernando Vargas, perhaps soon to fight for a title at 154 pounds. Mayweather's teammate on the 1996 American Olympic team. Two fighters meet in the middle of the ring and trade uppercuts. Mayweather's the more effective of the two. Now he tries to bang one-twos between the guard of Gennaro Hernandez. Don't hold his head. Sometimes the referee tells you not to hold his head, but when these guys choice you, you sometimes they're here run right into your chest. You got no choice but to. I like what Floyd Mayweather said when the referee told him that. He said, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And Mayweather's boxing and moving a little bit. You don't want him to be in that position because that's what he likes. Well, following him around. Really Hernandez likes. understands the situation he's in, and he has to make the fight and try to turn this away, this thing around somehow. Well, there's a way of charging him but not following him. You go on his left side and make him go in the opposite direction. Don't just follow him around while he's stepping to his left. Well, there's no quit in Gennaro Hernandez tonight. Willing to stick his head into the middle of the meat grinder against Floyd Mayweather and try to find something to do. Another brilliant right uppercut by Mayweather, and Hernandez just keeps coming. Gennaro Hernandez showing his champion's will as he tries anything and everything to change the bout against the classy Mayweather. Mayweather was able to get his right hand to the side first time. Left hook, right uppercut, smashing stuff. 
Right hand lands for Hernandez. Floyd comes back with a one, two, three, four, five, six. Six punch combination. Two counter punches trying to lead, fight each other toe to toe. Gennaro's taking a lot of leather. Come on, guys. And that's what this challenger want to do. Sway the judges. Take the fight to him. Mix it up every now and then. Do everything that you're supposed to do. Run out, run out, run out. Keep your arm down. He may be only 21 with 17 professional fights, but this is an exceptionally professional performance by Floyd Mayweather. Now it's up to his corner to pace him now so that he doesn't burn out. That's when you need a real expert corner. Swelling around the right eye of Hernandez and maybe just a trickle of blood at the outside edge of the eyelid. Don't follow him around, Hernandez. Cut him off and make him go to his right. Straight right hand lead by Mayweather. Right on the kisser. You, you gotta keep throwing more punches. This is the last one. Let me get it, Rudy. No, no, because it's swollen. It's swollen. It's swollen. Well, I gotta get the cut. This is the typical. Oh, no, but wait a minute. Sabes que? Último pinche round. And this is go for broke. This last one. You can do this. Déjame agarrar la cortada. Okay, you need you need to go for broke. Si no va a estar sangrando antes. No, 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 that's not, that's not a problem, man. Ya está loco, amigo. Genaro, Genaro. Go ahead. Put the suave. Put the suave right there. Genaro, Genaro. Último round. Last round. Yeah, last round. Go for broke. Ah, and this is. Go for fucking go. Cierra mal los ojos. Cierra mal One more chance. One more. This last round. Let me put the last one. Last round. Here you see them exchanging on the ropes. Hernandez might have gotten a, a glove or a thumb in the eye, but his brother Rudy was saying last round. I'm not sure what that's about. You heard Rudy he say made, over and over last round. So he may be saying to him, you, you must make it here or Don't we're going to get out of here. Let's ask interpreter Ray Torres. Ray, what was that conversation in Hernandez's corner about? That's true. They, they, they seem that they're so far behind. He's getting beat up. He just might only go this round. They, they're thinking about stopping the fight. That's what I believe. And, and the uh, cut above the right eye of Hernandez to the outside of the right eye. Referee Jay Nady indicated to me via a signal that that came from a punch, not a butt. Good left hook by Hernandez. The Mayweather kid is not backing up. Yeah, he may, may, maybe well, should back up a little bit. You know, Hernandez has gotten old in this fight. Old because he's in with a wonderful young fighter. But you're seeing that the thoroughbred in him come out right here. Now he's using his jab, Hernandez is. Looking and throwing. Hernandez lands a hard left hand as he comes off the ropes. Mayweather momentarily lost his balance, but regained it without touching a glove to the canvas. Boy, he's taking some hard shots, Hernandez, this time. Maybe more hard shots than his brother wants him to take at this stage. Perhaps that's what was meant by last round, last round. Although I would take it more likely to mean that they want that kind of desperation from the fighter. They want him to pull out every stop as though it's the last round and his only chance is to win by KO. I think that's it. They told him to, to go for broke. Yeah. But at this stage of the fight, he should be taking it to the younger opponent. He's in a difficult territory. It's new territory. Don't back up and give him courage. Take it to him. Well, when you need to fire and you don't, it's often because you don't like what's coming back. Amen. Every old fighter, sometimes along the way, is going to run into a young, strong, quick, ambitious young guy trying to take everything away from him. Well, That's what's happening here. In boxing, you're not going to run into many Mayweather young type fighters. Believe me, this guy is something special. I think that Hernandez may be finding himself being caught too many times. This guy's not putting him away, but he's giving him such punishing blows that if you got a corner, you may want to wonder if you want your fighter to just be beaten up from pillar to post. Down to the body. 
you think you want a champion wants to give up his title on the stool or does he just recognize the reality sometimes your life is a little more important than a title belt and this guy is hitting him and that's when it's the corner's job to show that right impact. that's right and of course that's complicated here because rudy is Gennaro's brother Somebody in there is saying that's it. Yeah, stop Rudy is going to turn to referee Jay Nady and say that's enough. Mr. to be over. You are quick. Is that the end of the game? My brother says my chest. Your brother says fight. Rudy Hernandez stops the fight. And I think that was courageous. You need some time a brother who loves you, care about you. Angelo Dundee said, I'm the chief corner man. Stop the fight. He wasn't going to let Larry Holmes punish it. Mohammed anymore. So I think that was a great move. Lloyd Mayweather, tears of joy. His brother, or rather his uncle Jeff, and his father Floyd Sr. both rushed to the middle of the ring to embrace Gennaro Hernandez. A proper show of respect for a great champion who was beaten by a younger, better fighter tonight. No better said. <laughs> no better said. And there's his mom in the ring. This guy did everything. Dad has been away. Now he's come back to see his son become champion of the world. That's really wonderful. You're looking at a happy family now. No Muhammad Ali was fighting his son in Liston. And prior to the fight, he went out to see his brother fight. Rockman, I think. Yes. And he told him he got beat up. He said, I'm not going to let you fight anymore. I'm going to take care of you. I see in the Mayweather family that same kind of doctrine. He's going to look after his family. Plus, he's going to look after himself. <laughs> Tears in the eyes of Uncle Jeff. Yeah, this is wonderful. Very wonderful. Floyd's tears continuing to flow. A beautiful scene here in the ring at the Las Vegas Hilton as Gennaro Hernandez congratulates the new champ. Punch that numbers from a one-sided fight. Floyd Mayweather landing 118 more, by far the harder shots, throwing nearly 100 more punches, connecting with over half. Quick look at the scorecard shows us that Gennaro Hernandez won only two rounds on judges' scorecards. One judge gave him the seventh round, another judge gave him the eighth round, the one just completed, but a third judge had all of the rounds going to Floyd Mayweather, and that's the card I would endorse. Ladies and gentlemen, Here's Michael at Buffer. the end of the eighth round, Enaro Hernandez's corner informed referee Jay Nady they could no longer continue. Referee Jay Nady calls an end to the bout, the official time. At the end of round eight, the winner by knockout victory in this, his 18th professional bout, his 14th KO, he is now the undefeated WBC Super Featherweight Champion of the World, Pretty Boy Floyd Mayweather. I'll look back at the highlights of this bout. It started with a rough first round, both fighters going down on slips in this little wrestling match at the beginning of round two. At that point, both fighters had been on the canvas twice with no official knockdowns, and from that point forward, it was all the blinding speed, the combinations, the technical, professional skill of 21-year-old Floyd Mayweather Jr., who showed that not only was he ready for this task, but he was ready to go out and dominate a fighter who in 14 years had never lost a fight in this weight class. That's how big the accomplishment is for young Mayweather. First member of the 1996 Olympic American team to win a world championship, and he's with our Larry Merchant right now. All right, thank you very much, Jim. First, congratulations, Floyd. Gennaro, give us your thoughts on the fight and the young man tonight who probably gave you the worst beating of your career. No, no, first of all, it's no beating. You know, he defeated me the way a true champion is. I don't think that was a beating, you know. Obviously, you know, he's quicker, he's smart. Everybody wasn't giving him the respect that I think, you know, I was giving him. I always knew that he had the intelligence and he had the speed and he had experience, but nobody would recognize it. What did you see in him that told you that uh, somebody with his 
few professional fights could do this to you as an experienced veteran champion? Like I told you, you know, experience ain't got nothing to do with it. You know, like I told you before, I fought people with more experience than I did, and I came out ahead. You know, obviously, he was a smarter fighter than me. He was a lot quicker than me. I give him the respect as a true champion that he is. And, and you know, and everything that was said behind the screens and all that, you know, that's, that's just all talk, you know. We're both uh, sportsmen, and and I knew that, you know, I was defeated. My brother told me that that would be the last round. I tried to give him my best, but, you know, he's just too quick, you know. I'm, you know, I'm 32 years old. I'm not saying that I'm old, but, you know, my reflexes weren't all there, and my speed wasn't there, but, you know, I give it to him. He's a world champion now, and he got all the respect out of me. Thank you very, very much, Gennaro. Hey, you, you know, Thanks, man. a true it's champion. A You're a true champion. I appreciate it. And you'll be a champion for a long time. You let that bite on, bite on. Oh, yeah, you know, you know, it's a sport, you know. Yeah, We're both here. You defeated me. My hat's off to you. I appreciate and may, it. may God bless you and the rest same of your career. Same right? to you, man. Thank you. All right. Uh, what does it make you feel to have somebody who is regarded as probably the best 130 pound fighter of this decade pay you these kinds of props well first of all i want to thank god you know thank my whole family and all my friends and my fans that supported me i want to thank hbo for having me on and um Janelle hernandez he's um, a very tough and and, and ex-game champion he was real tough um slicker than i anticipated but um i'm just happy with the victory tonight one would expect that a fighter of your experience, or some would say lack of experience, coming upon the biggest occasion of your career, something you've been dreaming of all your life, would be a little bit anxious, a little bit tentative. Why weren't you? No, because I know that um, he's a durable fighter, and I didn't want to rush. I want to take my time and relax, and um, win round after round. And um, I, don't, I don't need all, all those fights um, to fight the best because as an amateur, you know, I fought the best competition. And I, and I was considered as a semi-pro when you get to that level of amateur boxing because um, went by going to the Olympic Games and all those other big tournaments. What does it mean to you to be the second Mayweather with a title belt? I mean, I mean it's a dream come true. You know, I just want to thank Bob Ram, Todd DeBuff, Dina DeBuff, uh, the whole um, top rank staff for being behind me and supporting me and, and letting me get a shot at the world title. And I really appreciate it. All these people here from your hometown, all these relatives counting on you, what kind of an uh, incentive and an inspiration did they give you? Well, I feel like I'm, I'm like Sosa and McGuire to baseball, to Grand Rapids, Michigan, as far as in boxing. They love me. I had um, at least 150 to 200 people fly out to see me, and I really appreciate it. Are you willing to fight Angel Man Freddy, who is considered one of the better 130 pounders in the world? Um, I'm willing to fight Angel Man Freddy whenever. Um, he's a good fighter, but um, I just feel I'm the best 130 pounder in the world. And um, hopefully HBO can um, bring me and Man Freddy back and we can do the same thing that me and Janelle did. Thanks so much. Back to you, Jim.